In this video, we are going to discuss a previous gate problem related to gain margin. You can observe the problem here. The open loop transfer function of a feedback control system is 1 by S plus 1 whole cube. The gain margin of this system is. So, here we need to find out the gain margin. Already in the last class, we discussed about gain margin. Gain margin is reciprocal of magnitude of the Nyquist plot at phase crossover frequency. So, now first of all we need to find out the gain margin. The formula for gain margin is equivalent to this is equivalent to reciprocal of magnitude of Nyquist plot at phase crossover frequency. First of all to know the magnitude of your Nyquist plot you need to have your transfer function. So, you are having your open loop transfer function that is g of s is equal into 1 by s plus 1 whole cube. When, whenever you are taking Nyquist plot, you need to consider g of j omega. That means in frequency domain, I am going to consider this s domain to omega domain. So, j omega plus 1 whole cube. Now, if you want magnitude of this transfer function, then you need to consider modulus of g of j omega. Modulus of 1 is 1, modulus of this one. So, is equal into root of, so for internal factor, you are going to consider modulus. So, omega square plus 1 whole cube. So, you can write this as omega square plus 1 whole power 3 by 2. So, this is your magnitude. So, this is your magnitude and coming to phase angle. So, phase angle phi. Similarly, from this transfer function, if you want phase angle, then so that is equivalent to minus 3 tan inverse V by A. So, here you are having whole power 3. So, that is why as this is in denominator minus as it is having power. So, that power you need to consider here tan inverse B by A means omega by 1. So, or J coefficient by real term. So, tan inverse omega. This is phase angle. So, here we need to consider this magnitude at a frequency of phase crossover frequency. But we do not know that phase crossover frequency. How we can find out the phase crossover frequency? So, whenever the phase, phase crossover frequency is the frequency at which the Nyquist plot intersects negative real axis. That means minus 180 degrees. For this system, for this type of system, so that is minus 180 degrees. For some type of systems, that will be plus 180 degrees. You can, you can go for the diagram where I given types and orders. At the initial classes of polar plot and Nyquist plot, plot I used to give you a diagram with types and orders. According to that, you can know where the Nyquist plot is going to touch for 180 or minus 180. So, like that for this problem. So, here the phase crossover frequency is the frequency where the Nyquist plot is going to touch the negative real axis. So, here to calculate that tan inverse omega negative real axis means so here this side or this side. So, plus 180 or minus 180 real axis where that is going to touch the real axis in general cases negative real axis. So, here for this case this is minus 180. So, here minus minus will get cancelled tan inverse omega this I am calling as phase crossover frequency the frequency at which it will intersects 180. So, this is equivalent to 60. So, tan inverse omega p c equivalent to 60 means omega p c is equivalent to tan 60 that is equivalent to root p. Now, if you substitute this omega p c in this magnitude you are supposed to get the magnitude of Nyquist plot at phase crossover frequency. So, now magnitude at phase crossover frequency is equivalent to you just substitute omega p c in place of omega. 
so root of so here root 3 whole square so no need of root of you can take this final equation so here this is equal into 1 by in place of omega you need to substitute omega pc so you need to substitute omega pc means root 3 whole square plus 1 whole power 3 by 2 so now this is equal into 1 by 4 power 3 by 2 so this is equal into 4 you can write as 2 square whenever you return 2 square that 2 and this 2 will cancel 2 cube that means 8 1 by 8 so magnitude at phase crossover frequency is equal to 1 by 8 but we don't want magnitude we need gain margin which is the reciprocal of magnitude at phase crossover frequency so this is equal to 8 so now this option is right option for this problem what we need to do means first of all we need to consider the magnitude as we want magnitude at phase crossover frequency we need to find out that phase crossover frequency by using this phase by equating that phase to minus 180 degrees and after getting your phase crossover frequency you need to substitute in magnitude so then you will get magnitude at phase crossover frequency whenever you are having magnitude at phase crossover frequency in your hand you can easily find out the gain margin just by reversing that magnitude so like this way you need to solve this type of problems related to gain margin